guys, welcome back to Astroways. Here we're back to our special follower chart. Last episode we learned about the difference between four types of follower chart, output follower chart, world follower chart, power follower chart, and mixed follower chart. I don't know if you noticed the four sample charts I showed you, one of them had a supporting element. But because it's merged with other elements, so it's no longer itself. This is what we called a fake follower chart. A very good fake one, actually. A fake follower chart is you have one and only one supporting element. And it's either highly restricted or successfully merged with others. In this case, we can read this chart like reading a follower chart. However, there's a very fine line between a true follower chart and a fake follower chart. And between a fake follower chart and a normal weak chart. I'll use the lion and deer example from the last episode. A pure follower chart is like one lion against thousands of deers. A fake follower chart is like two lions, one grown up lion and a cup. You can already plan an attack, but the cup is too small to attack, so you teach it to follow the deer. But a cup would one day become a full-grown lion, and that's what we're worried about. A fake follower chart has a natural disadvantage. It's like a flawed chart. The structure can be broken very easily, and you really don't want that to happen. Because you have to know that a follow chart is very special. It sees the opposing element, the lucky element. It's friends with the opposing element. It's better to come across more opposing elements. But once you come across supporting elements, follower structure is broken. Your chart can't be considered as a follow chart anymore. It turns into a normal weak chart. All in the sun. All the opposing elements in your NATO chart turn into your enemy. That's the biggest disadvantage a follower chart has. Yes, follower chart people are very special, very talented, very gifted, very smart. If you have a follower chart and your 10 years luck pillars are full of opposing elements, then congratulations, you're bound to be an extraordinary person. But life is fair. You have your ups, then you have your downs. Follower chart hates coming across supporting elements, especially fake follower charts. A pure follower chart is more stable. If you come across a supporting element in your 10 years look pillar, sometimes you can use your own power to kill it or merge it. But if you have fake follower chart, you've already used a lot of your power to restrict that only one supporting element in your own chart, you won't have more power to restrict another one. When you come across more supporting elements in your luck pillars, that's your worst nightmare. I hope it doesn't happen to you, but if it happens, I hope you're well prepared. Here, let's check out this example for fate follow chart. The day master is in water. The whole chart is full of opposing elements, except this one. Only one parallel element here. Remember, a follower chart, fake or real, it can't have any supporting elements in the month's pillar. Month's pillar is the most powerful pillar in Baza chart. It has to be opposing elements sitting there. Okay, so this water here. The reason why it can be classed as a fake follower chart is because it's highly restricted by the young fire here right next to it. And it has wood underneath to ease its power. Water produces wood. It's so dead. Power elements takes up the month pillar and shows on the heavenly stems. This chart is a fake power follower chart. He has a very lucky early 35 years of his life. You see, it's all wealth and power elements. But later on, he'll be facing a lot of crazy challenges for a long time. In chart reading, we always prefer you having a difficult early age and easier later on than having an easy start of the life than challenge later on. Because 
a difficult early age of life shapes your personality. It makes you stronger. In Chinese, we say, 天将降大任于斯人也，必先苦其心志，劳其筋骨，饿其体肤，空乏其身，行拂乱其所为。所以，动心忍性，增益其所不能。You know, if you were going to be placed with great responsibilities, you have to first go through hell, physically and mentally tortured. Then you'll be tough. Then you know what you're capable of doing. On the other hand, if a person is born into an easy first thirty years of life, born into money, born into big house, never has to do anything, later on when he loses all the money, he wouldn't know how to survive. Even if he has the ability to survive, he wouldn't mentally be able to accept that he is no longer a little prince. So, if you are in your early thirties and you think your life is tough so far. Don't worry. Let it be tough, because later on, when you look back, you'll be very proud of yourself. Okay, so let's come back to our fate follower charts. Like I said, you can read a fate follower charts like the same way you read a real follower charts. But no matter if it's fake or real, if your ten years luck pillar has very strong supporting elements, your chart would turn into a normal weak chart. Then you have to read it like reading a weak chart. Comparing to the fake follower charts, real follower charts are more stable. The structure is not easy to be broken, while fake follower charts people tend to have more ups and downs in life. If you ask me which type of follower chart is better, I'd say the mixed follower chart and the well follower chart are equally good. They definitely have some advantage because it's friends with all opposing elements, especially wealth elements. Because wealth element is the bridge between output and power elements. While output follower charts, you're most friends with wealth elements and more output elements. You're not so friendly with power elements, especially if you don't have wealth elements to form a bridge. Then power elements will become a threat to your output. And for power follower charts, you are friends with wealth element. Wealth gives you power, and you are the only one who doesn't mind a little bit of resource element. Not too much. Too much will turn you into a different chart. But a little bit can be a bridge between power and yourself element. So. That's all for our real and fake follower charts. In most cases, if you have a good ten years luck pillar, no matter if you are real or fake follower chart, you'd be super good. You don't feel the difference between a real or fake follower chart. It's only when you come across bad ten years luck pillars, then we say a real follower chart will have a stronger structure. It doesn't break as easy as fake follower chart. That's the difference. Next episode, we have the second type of special chart, which is super, super, extremely, overly strong chart. It's even rarer than follower charts because within our five elements, three of them are opposing elements and only two are supporting elements. For super strong charts, you have to have two. And only two elements in your chart is very rare. Still, there's plenty of people out there. Okay, guys, that's all for today. If you want to have your chart reading with me, you can email me at astroways.info@gmail.com or find me on Facebook at astroways. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to know more about metaphysics, please subscribe my channel, and I'll keep you updated.